Hey, this is Grace. In this video, I'm basically giving a little bit of an update on a particular situation. Um, I did more of it on my the channel that I no longer use, and all the videos are on private except for one. Um, and it was, I basically said this was not my circus, not my monkeys kind of situation. And that the people involved needed to be able to see what was going on without any interference from me. Yeah, you know, and just as I knew what happened, that they'll find a way to triangulate. They'll try to triangulate me, say that it's my fault because they don't want to, um, you know, both, they, they don't want to see truly see what this one person does it's too much on them to see it you know they, they can't admit it they're in denial they, they don't want their eyes open so they want to find somebody who's the scapegoat there's somebody they triangulate in there into it but make the scapegoat story of my life okay seriously and I mean scapegoats and I've said this before you can be the scapegoat behind your back you don't even know what's going on you know that it is going on they've made you that scapegoat okay Okay, and basically I am getting some, uh, getting some a little trickle of information here and there that's showing that this person is doing the same to me. It's a woman, you know, old enough to be a grand grandmother, is doing the same thing to me. You know, making me the scapegoat of her behaviors. <laughs> the tr I mean, I knew that would happen. They're, they're, this is their whole game. It's always their game. Okay. And somebody just left me a comment. I don't know this person. They've never gotten a comment from him before. But at least I don't think so. But um, about people basically said that about um, playing the victim. You know, I've done videos on that before. And this person is one I've actually mentioned plays the victim. <laughs> and it's funny that it all came about the same time. But this is so usual for them as not at the same time. And that's what she does, is she plays the victim. She knows how to get enough people to feel sorry for her and which ones to do so. So when something does, and tell them that this person's hurting, you know, hurting her, doing this behind her back and all that. So when it does come time that somebody's going to point it out, no, you are doing this. She has all these people believing you know like if I were to say she's doing this that she has all these other people that that already know because she told them that I'm doing it to her you see yeah uh, you know some would call it projection it's, it's really just she's she's getting her little uh, group you know of people her flying monkeys set in place to attack me and I knew that would happen no matter whether I say it's not my circus not my monkeys you know kind of take that it's a little funny isn't it monkeys <laughs> it's her flying monkeys but no matter I knew I knew that it would go this way because that's what she does that's what that type does okay and uh, no matter what you do it, it's gonna happen now she thinks it's gonna go a certain way but and she can do this she, she'll find some way to cause some problems she, that's what she does okay but my my decision is a little different and I'm kind of developing what am I exactly I'm going to do at the end, you know, this is coming to a close soon. And, um, you know, some of you know that this person's going to be leaving. Not, they're not here. They're, right now she's off visiting somebody else. And, but she's going to be uh, leaving. Oh, I got that. Hopefully that doesn't get underneath my car. Yep. Scroll my I can't retell the whole thing, but yeah and it's going to be coming back here before then okay before leaving and be here probably a week or so well that's when i'm finally going to have my vacation <laughs> yeah i do believe so um that's one of the, my thoughts is to, to do that and of course i know you know when you're not there they're going to cause all kinds of trouble behind your back whether you're there or you're not there but i need a vacation seriously i do given my luck you know what'll happen it'll have snow ice you know it's, it's been four years I haven't been able to take a vacation because of one reason after another but anyway I wanted to give an update on this now there's much more to it what I plan on if I, if I stay if I don't go on vacation 
I said before, it's not my circus, not my monkeys. We know these people. They will find every way in the world to get you back. And, you know, they just get a thrill off of that and all that kind of stuff. You shouldn't do anything. You should go total no contact and, well, if you can, low contact or gray rock. All these things. I'm a one size doesn't fit all kind of person. Plus, I'm a sociologist and we run toward the problem, not away from it. You know, now that's not a good thing for everybody. Yeah, you know, these people can be dangerous. It's really not a good thing for everybody unless you're trained. And even people who are trained can still get hurt, you know? Okay, I wanted to give a little bit of an update on this story. Since uh, it is coming up soon, all of it, all of it um, is coming, you know, to that end of everything at this, this, whole situation here okay right now <laughs> we'll see what happens later but really I'm telling you I am so tired of people in my life um, that I didn't invite into my life people that I did not invite into my life I keep saying that causing problems in my life you know and I like I like I was saying I have done things you know it's like saying this is not my circus not my monkeys and stuff and tried to do the gray rock and tried and I've done the no contact but sometimes it for me the type of person I am it's too much to to on myself on myself to just let them let them go let them go I don't think that's part of my personality that's not you know I could talk about something that um, you know people who this is what they do. Is This is what sociologists do, is to bring up the problems, okay? So I'm going against that myself, you know, myself, because I have a master's degree in sociology, and I'm going against it all by not saying stuff and not showing it, not, um, and I knew this when I was doing it, I was trying it out, really, and they're not my circus, not my monkeys, but it's just too much for me to, to just let it happen. I'm not saying, like I said, I will say it again, don't try this at home. You know, you, I'm trained in this, okay? I taught this at to college and university, taught uh, sociology, taught social problems, about social problems and what needs to be done and by whom, okay? That kind of thing, so, and you know, and it's dangerous. I keep repeating that. Okay, where was I? I was, well, I was saying that it's, it's, it was too much on me to keep my mouth shut kind of thing because even though I did, I got blamed for something that I didn't even do, of course, and it doesn't matter to me. Here's the thing. It does not matter to me that they do this because I know this is, these are the scorpions and this is the behavior of their flying monkeys and those people who are in denials. I know this. I'm aware of it. I made myself very enlightened. Shoot. Let's go, go. It goes back to my childhood. Come on. I've seen the pattern and I know it and I know they're going to do it. But for me personally, just sitting back and saying not my circus not my monkeys i'm not going to get involved in it was like i was saying so difficult for me that it seemed like i and like i said it seemed like i was going to get my, against my own personality my own standards my own everything to do so i'm not going to do that anymore you know i i kept my mouth shut is what i was doing and that is not me <laughs> it's not me to keep my mouth shut and I really was testing it out to see, does it make a difference? Did it make a difference for me? Now, that's for me. I'm not saying anybody else. And for me, it did not make a difference. It still happened. You know, because they, and I knew that this was a good chance it was still going to happen. So, so what did I do for myself? Not saying anything. You know, really, did I do myself any good by not saying anything? Some would say yes, because some of these people can be very dangerous and you know, the more you you push back, the more they push, and they can go overboard. Okay, they can go way overboard. And some people would say that you push back, and they they realize, ooh, this person's going to out me, you know, for what I am, and then they they walk away. Okay, so you hear so many things it, because it's not a one size fits all. It's not that one thing, one reaction, one response, one type is going to work for every every situation. People are different. There's no just one answer to anything. So. Okay, anyway, I think that's enough for this video. I'm going to continue talking about this in other videos as time goes by. And getting the information I needed was difficult already. But we'll see what happens. 
Anyway, if you want to subscribe to this channel, click the circle. If you want to watch another video on this channel, click one of the rectangles. Like, subscribe, comment, and share if you would. And I'll talk to y'all in another video. Bye.